Welcome to Gary's Hobby Studio. In this video, I'm going to go over a... Uh, I saw a couple of other videos. The original guy that created it, plus this uh, this one that actually I found first. I think his name's Eric Strabel. And I'm also going to mention his name again in the actual video of me going over everything. Um, he, Because I was looking for a way to filter uh, IPA or isopropyl alcohol that I used to rinse off 3D prints, like when I did the Ahsoka Tano bust here, uh, and some other things that I've done recently. And it was because of the fact is this last one that I did uh, just before I get into the, to the story, there were little sticky dots on it. And I'll also... It's also going to be mentioned again. And what happened was I can clean these little sticky dots off with alcohol and a paper towel. And it's because of the fact that the resin gets suspended in the alcohol as it's washing it off. So I was looking for a way and I've seen some people where it's like, yeah, you pour this much. And I tried it. Eh, it's OK, but I like this this way better. And what it is, it uses a pump, a couple of filters, uh, UV strip you know, UV, like, strip tape lights. Excuse me. And what it does is it helps solidify that stuff, and then the filters catch it. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you the video. I'll also show you, there'll also be a, a clip of it running, and then I'll come back. But before I start that, I... Uh, if you like what I do, please like, subscribe, uh, share this with anybody that you think would might benefit from it. And I also want to say that my my heartfelt condolences, uh, in case of anybody here is an an, uh, an anime fan, uh, Akira Toriyama uh, passed away a few days ago. Saw it on Instagram, and it it really saddens me because I loved his Dragon Ball. Uh, series from Dragon Ball all the way through to Super. Uh, in case you haven't seen that I'm wearing a shirt that has all the characters from it. And I hope that somebody will be able to pick it up. And I know it might not be exactly the same, but hopefully it'll stay close enough to the way Toriyama wanted it to be. That hopefully they can continue with it. I, I just hope it just doesn't stop. Because uh, I really love the anime uh, shows. And I know they're ba it's based off of his stuff. So without further ado, let's get to the video. Okay, so... I found online a way to create a way to filter the alcohol... And as you can see here, there's a pump. There's some UV light tape wrapped around the uh, tubing there. Comes down to a filter. There's a one micron filter in the left one, a 0.5 on the right one. And here's the intake. That filter will catch any large particles. And this tube is the return tube to feed it back. Now, the guy that did it, and I can't think of his name off the top of my head right at this point in time, he created a 3D printable thing for a couple of things. Uh, one, if you put some half-inch metal tubing on the ends of these, you can hang it up if you have it there, which I probably will see if a friend of mine can 3D print it. I mean, I'm probably sure I could do it resin, but I'd rather not try to do that because uh, me and supports just don't get along so this is the initial test of this and I made the siphon hose longer because the pump is up high how well this is going to work I don't know because it's me and we all know what happens when any, anything I try to do <laughs> and this is going to suck I left a little piece of resin the heck's that <clears throat> oh that's just a reflection okay but I left a uh, 
a test print in the thing. And hang on a second, I'm trying to dry off my hand. But I'll show you what I'm talking about because I disturbed it enough. I don't know how well this is going to show on camera, but you can see those little bits floating around. And in my wash and cure, I cleaned a resin print and it left some weird little stuff around. And the stuff's so soft that with fresh alcohol and a paper towel, you could wipe it off. But I want to try to filter this stuff out so that that doesn't happen. So this is going to be a test. And hang on one second. Because I've got another one here that I'm going to pour into there and just increase its amount. Hopefully, I don't have enough hands. Sorry for the spinniness of that. Okay. All right. So this will be interesting to see how well this works. So as you can see, I left a little bit of that in there to hopefully hold all that. So I'm going to turn this on and it should kick in and we'll see what happens. Nice. There we go. Really sucking now. Nope. I need to put in some air or something solid to hold that down. spilling okay yeah it's because it sucked it down so much that it actually lowered the height and it's all over my floor now yeah I'm definitely gonna need that guy's uh, 3d print stuff I wasn't paying attention so I'll be cleaning this crap up but let me turn it on I'll try to hold the output both there we go now I gotta hold both for this to work Ooh, splash me again ugh Okay, and as you can see how it works really well because uh, it cleaned the crap out of it, like I said in the when I talked about it. Uh, besides putting the outlet strip in there, I also want to see if... Because I know he mentioned a couple of uh, 3D printed items, and I didn't see any of the STL files. I'll have to rewatch the video to when he talks about those. Because I like the fact of the hanging mechanism. That would be better than having that bucket in there. And that would be great. I mean, I could definitely get maybe some half-inch tubing from one of my local hardware stores. I think I have a pipe cutter. And if not, I can always buy one. And can cut the pipe like that to put on the ends of that there. Which will do two things. Number one, that's a little extra weight. Helps hold it down in the alcohol. And I might want to make sure it's stainless steel or something so that it doesn't corrode or anything or act goofy with the alcohol. I'll have to make sure. Uh, whatever that pipe is that he's got should work. But anyways, sorry, got off on a side thought tangent there. And the other thing was the actual uh, thing that he had to help hold those tubes in there, you know, like it kind of pushes in. 
I know a couple of people that have regular extruder 3D printers, and I might ask one of them to see if they could make that stuff for me. But I got to get the STL files first. So, um, but I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it gave you guys an idea on maybe how to do your own. Um, a link to Eric's and I can't think of the other guy's name, so I'm truly sorry about that. Uh, but they'll have the list of the of the stuff that they use and they'll be able to you know and you could click on it and because that's pretty much what i did but i just wanted to show you that i did it mine is uh, a little bit different like i said it's in a cabinet underneath my desk here next to my 3d printer and everything i think i'm gonna change all this around but as i always like to say have a good day guys take care and see you next time